Hi. So I know that the ring light is reflecting in my glasses, but I am struggling to see these days, so I wear my glasses a lot more often. I'm gonna go back to the eye doctor soon and get non-reflective lenses so that you just don't see my ring light be in my glasses. But I gotta wear them because I can't see. But I just turned the camera on real quick because I want to de-stress some shirts today, you know, bleach them out, cut some holes in them, rough them up a little bit, and I thought, since they're kind of in style via Instagram right now that maybe you guys would like to see, um, I'm just going to just go with it and cut some holes and spray some bleach and stuff on it. So I'm gonna do this tee here that I got from, I think this guy's from H&M. I'm pretty sure it's from H&M. And I got it in a large because I wanted it to be long enough to kind of wear, you know, like as a t-shirt dress kind of. And I do always wear like these kind of biker short type of things underneath. Um, people always ask like, are you wearing pants? And I'm like, some kind of pant. So I'm gonna do this guy. And if you're on the shorter side, but you still wanna give it like that oversized look, but it's just like way too long for you, what you can do is cut the bottoms off. I'm gonna leave the bottom because I am tall, so I don't wanna take any length off of it because it's already like when I put it on, it's already pretty short anyways. Um, but if you are on the shorter side, you can just cut the bottom of the tee off or as much of the tee as you need to adjust it to the length that you want. So the most important thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. Fabric scissors would be best just so that it's gonna be a lot easier to cut the fabric as opposed to using like doll scissors or just like regular kitchen scissors. So get you a pair of, um, so get you a pack. So get you a pair of fabric scissors. And then of course you're going to need some kind of bleach. I am going to transfer the bleach into this little Makeup Forever spray bottle that was empty. Um, and then I'm also going to take the lid off of one of these guys and just put it in the bleach and use it to spray. Just because I don't, I currently don't have any spray bleach. Um, so I'm just going to quickly transfer the bleach into this bottle. Be careful. And then I'm working on just like a craft table that I don't really care if anything like happens to it because we are going to be like slicing our t-shirt. So, so just make sure you're not doing it like on your grandma's antique table and you should be okay. I'm just gonna lay it out and get it going. If you don't feel super creative but you still wanna make your own de-stressed shirt, just go on Instagram or go on Google and check out like distressed tees and you can just kind of pull inspiration from there. Um, or you can just like wing it and go off of your brain, which is what I'm gonna try to do. So, oh, hey girl. And if you don't have a spray bottle, what you can do is take a bottle of water, poke some holes in the top, fill that with bleach, and then just kind of sprinkle that over your shirt. If you don't have anything to, you know, can you, people don't wanna see your butt. Um, if you don't have anything, um, excuse me, I'm about to de-stress this tea. Oh, okay, okay. You want mama to give you two pot to lay on? How about you come over here and lay? All right, so I'm just gonna start by cutting the tee and we're gonna start like here on the neckline. So what you wanna do is you want to pull the fabric up and like pinch it together and then cut into it that way. So we're just gonna want this to kind of be a bigger hole here. And then as you see, you have a hole and then what you wanna do is like just get your fingers in there kind of pull it apart a little more so it doesn't look so much like a cut. It looks, you know, like a rip, like it's naturally there. Just want to stretch it out. Cut some little holes here. So I know it's hard to see, but I'm just kind of creating little cuts in the collar. <laughs> and when you're making your holes, you just want to pinch it together and cut. And then stretch it. Don't be scared to like rip it more with your fingers, the actual hole. It'll just give it a better like overall look. I missed you too. I just got home from LA yesterday, so she's a little, she's a little more clingy when I come home. And then what I'm gonna do is take the sleeve, and right where the line is stitched, I'm gonna cut right along there to get rid of the stitching here, so that the sleeve kind of gets a little bit of a roll up to it. So just try to cut as close to the actual stitch as you can, or you can cut off more, like if you just want a little bit of a shorter sleeve. And then so that you don't have that rough 
kind of edge, you just wanna give the shirt a tug so that it starts to, so you see like the sleeve is like rolled up now, like to give it like a raw edge. I like to cut holes down here on the bottom, like uh, along the edge, because remember I'm gonna keep my actual seam here. So I like um, some holes to be like in the mix. So just very repetitive. We're just gonna pinch the fabric together and then cut it, cut it. Oh, that one got a little wonky on us. It's all right. I'll just go with that little hole there. All right, that's a little better. Okay, the shirt did switch, but the other camera just wasn't picking up the distressing like this one was. So what I do is I open my scissors wide like this. This is going to be the easiest way to distress your shirt. And then you're just going to pull the fabric and then scratch along the t-shirt. This is going to give you a really nice distress mark. And it's going to be a lot faster than just cutting little tiny holes. If you want to go through and cut little tiny holes, be my guest. But this is what I do throughout the entire t-shirt. And then one more time, just pull the fabric taut and drag the scissors along it. As you can see, it's super easy and it creates really nice distressed holes. Just be careful with the scissors to not cut yourself. I did end up cutting myself a couple times, but it is a lot easier than, like I said, going through and cutting holes. So let's go ahead and switch back to our Guns N' Roses tee. Okay, so here's my Guns N' Roses tee once I finish distressing it. I do think the easiest way is to just drag the scissors across to create your distressed marks and then add little holes in between where you drag the scissors. That's the way that I think is just easiest to do it. And don't be scared to distress your tee. You're not going to mess it up, I promise you. Just kind of go with the flow and I promise that it'll turn out good. So let's go ahead and move on to the bleach. So I have my bleach just in a spray bottle. I'm going to start with this for like light things of bleach. It'll start to turn immediately. This is just like mere seconds of the bleach being on the shirt. All right, so I got the bleach in a little dropper and as you can see, I've just been kind of dropping it all over the shirt wherever I feel like it needs it. So it's just a combo of spray bottle and just little drops. And then you just leave the bleach on until you kind of get the desired color that you want out of it. So I'm gonna let this change colors a little more and see uh, how much more bleach I need to put on this guy. It's looking pretty good. I'm still just letting a little bit of the bleach turn. Um, you can do the back if you want. I kind of just let it bleed through, so then you'll just have kind of like these little bleach marks throughout the back of your shirt. But, I mean, if you want to de-stress the back, be my guest. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go wash this bad boy in cold water to stop the bleach from activating any more than it is. Then you just want to let this guy hang and dry overnight and when you wake up you'll have a nice bleached distressed tea and here's the completed shirt about 24 hours later i couldn't resist wearing it i love how it turned out i hope you guys do too if you do recreate the shirt please tag me on instagram or twitter i would love to see your guys recreations and i will try to find the shirt this actual shirt and link it in the bottom bar for you guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i don't think i have anything else to tell you guys except i love you thank you so much for watching and until next time i will talk to you guys soon bye